in our last video, we took you guys into the most amazing city of Florence here in Italy. And we had a fantastic day. We're getting out of here just in time. It's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. We're hitting the road. We've got a cool destination that has absolutely nothing to do with the city. So let's go. We've got another three meter bridge here, but you can see it's angled right there. Stay to the middle, stay to the middle. All right, good job, Snow. For those of you who are new to our channel or just started watching us, we like to take the roads less traveled. Now today we had the opportunity to take the interstate or the highway, the toll roads. It would have been an hour less, a two and a half hour drive versus a three and a half hour ride. However, this ride is shorter, it does not cost any tolls, but it is the windy road through the countryside and through the mountains and through the beautiful small towns and that's what we like. And it's shorter in distance, not in time. Shorter in distance, not in time. It's an extra hour of driving through this beautiful countryside. And the reason it's longer is because we're going to be going a lot slower, like I said, there's a lot of turns, so it's not like a straight through. And also, there's a lot of small towns. But we get views of what it's really like in Italy rather than just the big cities. Ah, look at these beautiful houses. They're so diverse. And you can hear the geese. So there's this little river that runs right along the road and every once in a while we catch a nice little waterfall or something like that. But it's hard to video because the trees are real thick. Imagine after a snow melt, the water's just running off this river. But we also see places where the road is eroded and other things like that. But this is a beautiful drive and one of the main reasons why we like to get off of the big toll roads. I think we just made it over the mountaintop. It looks like we got up right around 3,000 feet. And uh, so I would say we probably climbed maybe 2,000, 2,500 feet. Switchbacky, not super steep, but super windy, narrow, blind corners. Snow's definitely getting a good arm workout, aren't you, getting Snow? Arm workout. And the hardest part about this road, well, there's two. The hardest part is that I can't enjoy looking out and seeing how beautiful it is. I get a little glimpse, but I gotta focus on the road. The next hardest part is these switchbacks are blind. So when I come around the curve, 
normally you'd be able to swing wide in one of these big vans or something. I have to stay on my side of this narrow little road on these switchbacks. And that adds a little, little technical difficulty to the drive. <laughs> little extra concentration. I can tell you, even though maybe like when we were going through the Andes Mountains, the drops were steeper. Our, the drops maybe were further they're nonetheless steeper I mean some of these are straight down and uh, also and they've got really good system of rock fall protection all along here they've got the mesh and the screen protecting the falling rocks and uh, the roads in really good shape so it's Ready. making for a beautiful ride through the thick forest Woohoo, we made the right choice, at least so far. <laughs> awesome. Happy too. Happy jogger. Well, we'll send my truck. Oh, there's another one. Back up. Back up a little bit, maybe. Can you back up? All right, here we go. Jammed in here tight. You had to stop because a couple semi trucks coming around the corner. There was about two inches between the truck and the mirror. Bucker factor. And we stopped just at the right time. If you look here, you can see this is just a series of S curves coming down. They were coming up, we were coming down. We caught them just in the right time. Otherwise, we probably would have been backing up through this S curve. So, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. All right, we got a little red light action here. Now, we don't know if this is because it's a single lane uh, blind corner or because if the road's eroded away, but we're about to find out, I'm sure. Road is eroded a little bit here, and more shoving hasn't gone yet. We've definitely seen worse areas than that by far, but they had the good traffic control devices out and the protection, so we made it through safe, guys. And we popped over the mountains and we found some a big opening of maybe like pasture land it didn't really look like they're growing any crops up here I'm thinking pasture land and all of a sudden a little town or a commune or village up on top of the hill and you see that here in Italy and what's so cool is many many most of the time they have just a big church steeple sticking up in the middle of it no matter how big or small the village is really cool i believe these are lavender fields i could be wrong i probably need to check maybe you guys can correct me if i'm wrong it might be it looked a little sagey as well but there were thick rows of some sort of herb crop so we look down into the valley and we approach this town of Casagilia. The town. Um, it looks, oh, it there looks, is there is a detour. We don't want to go to Bologna. Yeah. stunning drive and I realized that over the past couple of days we made a giant big decision and we didn't share it with you guys yet so a few videos back we told you our plan we were going to drive south through Italy get on a ferry 
in uh, the town of Bari and head over towards Albania when we pop out to do our 90 day uh, visa reset over in Eastern Europe. Well, a couple of days ago, we drastically changed that. We're no <laughs> longer headed south. Now we are headed north through Italy along the eastern coast, or at least we're headed to the eastern coast. And then we'll wrap around the bend. We're gonna stop in one of the world's most famous cities. I'm gonna let y'all try to figure out which one that is. But we're doing that because we need to get to Croatia within the next maybe three, three and a half weeks because we have a very special package to pick up and possibly two packages to pick up. So we'll tell you more about that as it gets closer. But uh, yeah, everything changed. So we will not be going to Albania. We will be going through Croatia and into Bosnia. Everything changes on a whim when you live like we do. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down <laughs> but as we come through these cities and these towns sometimes we get where the buildings just push right up against the edge of the narrow roads and in some cases they even squeeze it down to one lane and you can see where the vehicles the trucks the buses the wide vehicles have hit the buildings over time and just scratched the sides but <laughs> I'll tell you what, there's some unique engineering feats along this drive. A lot of stone structures like bridges and things like that that make this just a really kind of fascinating drive. Stopped off roadside for a little lunch, so we're making a little pasta primavera for lunch with a little pesto sauce. The kitties are wandering around, they want to walk. It's a little too early for that. We'll wait till we get to our destination. But uh, after driving on those windy roads, they're ready for one. We'll grab them some grass and uh, get them, we'll get them a walk real soon. I wonder why the leaks are more popular in the US. A little tortellini salad and a little cheeseburger sliders. 
Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, one thing about an adventuring like we do, we saw these beautiful towers and castles up here in the mountains. And so we're gonna go investigate. This might change our plans for the day, but it looks pretty fascinating and worth investigating. Get up there. Yeah. If you don't want to, hun, let's not do it. All right, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to show you this. Oh, maybe you can see kind of up there, there's a castle, a citadel, a fortress, or whatever. And then there's a big sort of bell tower, clock tower over there. And the deal is, we got up there, first of all, it's a little tight. And uh, there was parking there, but it was also closed. And it doesn't open till Saturday at 10. So we just made an executive decision to move on. We're missing the clock tower thingy on the top of the hill. It looked really cool. It There's had a, a nice, shot of it. there's a good shot of it. Let's see if we can get you, it's kind of whited out. I don't know. So as we've come across Tuscany, we're kind of getting close to the border and getting out of here. We've seen a lot of olive trees and a lot of vineyards, but now all of a sudden, we're coming across these manicured trees that kind of look like apple trees. And the reason why I say apple trees is because we still see red and sometimes uh, other colored fruit on them that look kind of like apples. They also kind of look like tomatoes. And what's weird is that there's no leaves left on the tree. Obviously it's, you know, late in the, in the winter here and not sure what they are maybe we'll look it up maybe you guys can tell us not sure if they're apples or some other kind of fruit that we're just not familiar with so we were well on our way we came up on a bridge that we were too tall to fit under we rerouted it added maybe 20 minutes to our journey we've done a driver change a lot has happened in the past 15 minutes and another thing is we ended up on this very narrow two-way road where when a car is coming there is no option someone like a one lane two road two yeah road. it is designed for cars to be able to pass each other but there is no room there are trenches on both sides the only hope is find a driveway but we have maneuvered through it is now getting a little bit wider and not quite as sketchy but I think we're almost to a main road. He's turning right there, Kurt. There he goes, yeah. So, <laughs> has to be a lot of friendly communication on these little back roads. But almost to a main road and within an hour of our campsite. Yeah, and we're still driving through all these crazy different kinds of orchards. So, it's farmland and we're debating on whether they're grapes or pears or apples or something else. But, we're getting close. <laughs> What do you think it? Oh, they, they just drop, drop it, it in the water. Yeah, they just drop it down. There, there was a bunch of them up and down the river. Yeah, they drop it down and the fish. Probably when the tide's probably, coming. Or they probably throw some bait over there. We're getting closer and closer to our hopeful campsite. The terrain has definitely changed. We have left the mountains and we are over on the coast of, we believe it's the Adriatic Sea. Now it's a couple of miles over that way. We're kind of in a, a delta wetland type area. And we just went over a river where we saw some- Flamingos! Uh, oh, and there's flamingos right there. There <laughs> they are. Anyway, <laughs> we just went over a river back there with some very creative fishing techniques. Giant, giant fishing nets hung over the river where they could put them down with pulleys and some sort of like a cast net almost anyway i don't know if it'll show up but it was pretty interesting and i think obviously you can tell we're over here where we're hoping we can find some wildlife but we've got a campsite we're headed to we need to get some water for the van and uh we think we got some bad weather coming in for a couple of days so we're going to get to the campsite and regroup and go from there yeah I think they are. It might be chicken. All right, we are just minutes from our campsite, and snow was filming these fields that are covered with plastic. And we looked out, and we saw the ring-necked pheasants out there. Now we saw a couple in France. We haven't seen any since, 
But there's a bunch of them out there, isn't there, Snow? Yeah, there's several. They're quite a ways away, but right towards the end, one crossed the road here, maybe, maybe 50 or 60 yards from us, but pretty cool. But it's getting close to dark. Let's get to camp. We have made it to our campsite. All right, we've made it to our campsite, but <laughs> we're dealing with yet another automatic pay system. Doesn't seem to be the English directions written. Alright, so I think we pay on the way out. So Kurt's up there talking to the guy that I guess manages the campsite here. Looks like he's trying to get the scoop. The rain has started. We had heard it was coming in. Could be here for a few days. We're not sure. But I can tell you that this kitty right here. <laughs> Gee, what are you doing? He sure seems happy that he can tell we're probably home. So it looks like everything's going to work out for us here. We're hoping there's some other wildlife around here as we work our way up to a famous, famous city. First, wildlife. Next, I'll give you a hint. Probably going to take a ride in a gondola. Out an adventure. Oh my lord. <laughs> so this guy is, I don't know if I can say 100% Italian. Oh, he's 100% Italian. But he was loud and he was mad because I didn't come over there right away, but I couldn't hear him. And uh, <laughs> anyway, it was an adventure. But after I cracked a smile and a few jokes, <laughs> you I don't know him if down. he meets too many people from the United States. He was pretty cool. And uh, so it's twenty dollars a night. They do have a shower. It's two euros to use the shower. So I don't even know if we'll bother using that. But the twenty dollars includes electric and water and dump and all that, so we can fill our tanks and dump our tanks. So we can and, shower in the van then because we'll have plenty of water. <laughs> you have plenty of water so we can shower in the van. They, I mean, they ha it's hot water shower, but it's got like one of those things you stand on like and use the toilet, like those squatty, like where they had the, the hole in the ground yeah. and you squat on it. So you got to stand over that to take a shower. I'd be afraid my foot would slide into the hole. Into and the I toilet. Would... Yeah. If you're not going to use it, <laughs> Lord knows I'm not using that shower. But we're home for the night. The rain did roll in, guys. It was an adventure. I could tell by watching Kurt through the window that there was definitely something interesting going it on with the little old man. It was yeah. very animated. It was very animated. But we're going to get settled in. We're going to call it a night. And we sure hope y'all enjoy, enjoyed driving across Tuscany and towards the northeastern parts of Italy with us today. It has been a while since we just took y'all on an adventure drive and uh, we had fun, so we hope you did. Yes, there's baby, oh, there's a whole family of rats, Kurt. There's a whole family and I didn't get them. Oh, circle back around on this road. Just get the baby rat. We told you that rain was coming in and it did. It rained nonstop for two days. So we hunkered down in the parking lot of this reserve now we had come to this reserve hoping to see some pretty cool looking deer that live here. But when we got here, it was locked up tight. So before we head out, now that the rain has stopped, we're going to ride through here, see if we get lucky and get a little glimpse of anything up through these trees. And also see if we can see any smaller wildlife along the canals and stuff. We're in a river delta area, close to the coast. And uh, we're a little bit sad we can't get in here and do a hike in the real nature because other than this little plot of land right here, this entire area is farmland. 
but maybe we'll see something as we're driving out towards the main road. Locked up tight. These canals, oh, there's one, are full of what we're pretty sure is carp. <laughs> We're gonna run! <laughs> So the canals were full of fun wildlife. We decided before we start heading north on the interstate to ride along the Po River and it paid off. We spotted a pheasant. Now we didn't have time to get the tripod set up so it may be a little bit bumpy, but it was a nice road to uh, look out over the river, which is a big giant river and it's alongside all this farmland so you can see where everything's cleared. But with that guys, I think the pheasant is a good way to wind this video down. We will see you in a few days from somewhere north of here. Cheers. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.